Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own crocheted reusable cotton pads. I've been wanting to do this for so long and I think of it every time I remove my makeup and throw a cotton pad in the bin. This project only consists of five rounds, so it's super easy, super quick. You can make it in five or ten minutes, depending on how fast you crochet. And once you've done a few of these, you can simply just use them and throw them in the washer and use them again and again. Alright, so the materials we'll be needing are a crochet hook. I'm using a 2.5mm hook, but you can choose any hook that just fits with the type of yarn you're using. I've chosen this dark brown cotton yarn. Um, because I'm mainly going to use the cotton pads to remove mascara and with this color you're not really able to see stains on the cotton pads like you would if you have chosen a, a white color or a lighter color. Then I'm also going to need a pair of scissors and lastly a darning needle. So to begin the cotton pads you're going to need to do a magic circle or some people also call it a magic ring. And if you're new at crocheting, you can go check out my other video where I show in great detail how to make the magic circle. I'll try and have it linked here in the video, otherwise you can find it in the description. So now we have our magic circle. And we're going to do two chain stitches. One, two. And then you're going to work double crochets into the circle. So we're going to yarn over, go into the circle, and then you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. Now you're going to yarn over again, do the same thing, pull up a loop, now you have three loops in your hook, you're going to yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And then you're just going to repeat this process until you have 12 double crochets in total. And this first chain that we did counts as the first double crochet. So you need to have 12 in total. Now I've done 12 double crochets and I've tightened the, the end of the magic circle a little bit. Um, and now we're going to pull on this string to completely close the circle, like so. And you can leave it as open as you want it to be. I leave just a little hole. We're going to find the first double crochet, which was our chain stitches. And we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then just do a slip stitch, pull it directly through. So now we've done the first round. Now what you'll need to do is to chain one stitch and then do two single crochets into each stitch. So you're doing one single crochet and two into the same stitch and this is called an increase when you do multiple stitches into one space. So you'll just do two single crochets into each stitch all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end. Now I only need to do the last one here. One and two. So now I've done all the way around. We're going to find that very first stitch and do a slip stitch to finish off the round. So this was the second round. Now we're going to begin the third round. We're going to start the third round by doing three chain stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to work double crochets into the stitches now. So you're going to yarn over and then go into the first stitch. This is like what we did in the first round. 
and then basically what you're going to do is to do three double crochets so now we've got one two three double crochets and then we're going to do a chain stitch and then we're doing three double crochets again one two three and then we'll do a chain stitch again and then you'll just continue this process all the way around do three double crochets and one chain stitch. Now I've done the double crochets all the way around and I'm going to connect around like I did before with a slip stitch. So now for the next round you're going to chain three again. One, two, three. And then we're going to work two double crochets into each space which means that we're going to do an increase into each space. So you're going to yarn over, go into the first space, yarn over and pull up the loop. Then you have three loops, you're going to pull through the first two and pull through the last two. Then you're going to yarn over and do one more double crochet into the same space. So now we've got two double crochets into the same space. Then we're moving on to the next space and doing two double crochets into this one as well. And you're going to continue this way all the way around for this round. So now I only need to do the last double crochet. And then I've done two double crochets into each space and I'm going to connect the round with a slip stitch. And now we're going to do the very last round. I'm going to do a chain stitch and then I'm going to do one single crochet into the first space one single crochet into the next and then an increase so every third stitch I'm doing an increase which like I explained before is just the same as doing two stitches into the same space so I'm doing one normal single crochet another normal single crochet and then the third stitch I'm doing two single crochets into the same stitch. Like so. So one normal, another normal, and then an increase. Now I've done the complete round of single crochets and increases. And now to complete the, the round, I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch I made. And then all we need to do is to take our scissors and cut the thread and then pull through the loop. Then we're going to thread the needle and weave in the ends. What I like to do is to just follow along this edge and try and get it underneath here to make it secure and cover it up. And then pull through and I like to, to make it a little bit tight and then cut the thread because then I can even it out and it'll 
be hidden underneath the edge of the cotton pad. Then we need to do our thread that we started with. And this one is already kind of weaved in because I did crochet over it for a while. So I'm just going to put it through a few loops on the back. It's not that important. I think it will stay where it is. Like so. Then again, pull the string, pull the thread a little tight and cut off the edge and cut off the excess thread. And then you can straighten out the cotton pad and it's done. So now that you know how to make these, you just need to repeat the process and make as many as you need. I like to have a few because then I can gather them all and wash them together. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspired you to live a little greener. If you like this tutorial and want more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment if you'd like more videos like this. Maybe I'll do a series of videos with crocheted sustainable ideas. So let me know if that's something that you'd like. And I'll see you in my next video.